Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson we are going to dive deeper into the Angular Core NG Template Core Directive. We have seen the NG Template feature before when we covered NG If, so we are now going to get back to that feature and cover it in detail. In order to explain NG Template, let's go back to the case when we first found it. So if you remember we found the first occurrence of NG Template whenever we were trying to provide here some alternative content to the image in case an image is not provided for a given course. So what we were doing was something like this, we were using ng if in order to detect if the course has an icon URL property available. And if that's the case, we will be displaying here the course image that in this case we are projecting with ng content. However, if there is no course icon URL available, then we would like to display here a blank image template. And if you remember, the template would look something like this. We would use the tag ng template to define here a template segment. We would use a template reference to give this template segment a name. We are calling it blank image. And inside we are going to add here some content. For example, we are going to display here a warning to the user using the warn CSS class that no image is available yet. And we are also going to display here a default image. So we are going to fill in here the source property and we are going to go inside the assets folder. We are going to take the image named empty-image.png and we are going to use it here in our ng template. Now let's have a look at this functionality in action. So this is what happens if there is a course image available. So like before we have here the course image, but if this time around we open here our DB data file and we comment out the image for a given course, we are going to see that we have here applied the default content, no image is available yet, and we have here the default image. Now what is happening here is that we are referencing here a block of a template using a template reference. Any HTML and CSS that is going to be filled in inside the ng template is going to be part of this template segment. Now notice what happens if we don't mention here the blank image template reference here in our else clause. What is going to happen is that the content of our ng template is no longer displayed anywhere on the page. So let's have a look at the HTML to see what we have there. Let's inspect here the title and just below it, let's see if we can find our ng template. So as you can see, we can only find here the course description immediately. So there is no content between the title and the description. So it's like this block of code here, the ng template instance does not exist in our HTML page. You can also see that the course image is hidden, but that's because of the use of ng if and that is as expected. But it's a bit surprising that the content of this HTML block does not get displayed anywhere on the page. So the way that this works is that Angular is going to inspect the template, is going to notice that there is a reference here to a template segment, but this template segment is not going to be added by default to the screen. This template segment is going to be kept by Angular for later and it's going to be used only if we expect explicitly use it either by using it here on the else clause or in some other way that we are going to see in a moment. Right now let's talk about what data is visible here inside the ng template tag. So the same data that is visible in the template that is surrounding it is also visible here inside ng template. For example, we can have access here to the course variable. We can say for example here inside ng template that course.description, the name of the course, has no image yet. And as we can see as we refresh the application we get here the correct title of the course. So the course variable is indeed visible here inside ng template. Notice that although ng template can access variables such as course that belongs to the template where it's embedded, we can also have ng template create its own variable scope with its own private variables visible only inside the ng template tag. Let's quickly summarize what we have learned in this lesson. NG template allows us to define blocks of HTML that correspond to a single isolated template. 
this code is not going to be displayed by default on the page, it's only going to be displayed if we use the template somewhere. We have to instantiate the template somehow in order for the content of the template to be visible. The template can see the variables of the context on which it's embedded. For example, our blank image ng template can see the course variable. Let's now learn how can we instantiate a template and let's learn how can we give it its own private variables. This is coming right up in the next lesson.